hot and, and dirty kind of feather. <laughs> Well, here we are taking our dog Wally out for a walk and look what we found wandering around in the grass. A caterpillar! A what? A caterpillar! <laughs> a big giant one. Look at the size of it. It's eating! It's eating! It's eating! It's crawling through the grass. Just to give you an idea how big this thing is, this is the size of my hand. See? So this little guy is called a Pseudosphinx tetrio. It's also called a tetrio sphinx, giant gray sphinx, and a French penny hornworm. So it's common in the tropical Americas. Look at those colors. It's black with bright yellow stripes, red head, and bright orange legs. And these bright colors are a warning to potential predators. And when they're disturbed, they wave their heads back and forth like a snake. He's not too disturbed right now. They can also bite if you handle them and they don't like that very much. So this guy will t eventually turn into a moth, but the moth is nowhere near as exciting as this caterpillar version. It's just a dull gray kind of color moth, not brightly colored like the caterpillar, this guy. Well he is an interesting find. So this is what the moth looks like as an adult. That crazy colored caterpillar turns into that after he goes into a cocoon and pupates. And he comes out and he looks like this. So the coloring is not as exciting as it is as a, as a caterpillar. It's just the dull gray colors. And this moth belongs to the family Sphingidae. back door, take a walk, lift a few rocks, move a few branches, you might find something cool like this guy. This colorful caterpillar. And there's Wally. <laughs> What's that Wally dog? Goodbye to the caterpillar. Bye.